Hello Capricorn, this is your November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Capricorn individuals, so keep that in mind. I could pick up the energies from the last reading and we continue on, or I may pick up a totally different new energy. But this is for Capricorn starting November 2018, Capricorn. Starting November 2018, Capricorn. Hopefully, it'll be a better November for Capricorns. A great November for Matt Capricorns. And the energies are positive. If not, we'll work through them. If it's a negative energy, don't accept it. If it's a positive one, go with it. But what's coming towards you is wealth, stability. Finally, things coming in the way you want to. Things are starting to really pan out and finish when it comes to certain financial situation. It could be a house contract. It could be a job contract you finally got. You're thinking it's, you're satisfied in the, in, in the income and energy coming in for November. Pretty cool card. Right here, starting on energy is the Knight of Wands. Is it is in the upright. It can be someone taking on a fire sign energy or actual fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a passionate energy. This someone has a lot of energy. They they can go back and forth and and they carry a lot of enthusiasm. What crosses it is stagnation. Someone has a lot of enthusiasm. Enthusiastic behavior. They're wanting to really put themselves out there, but they're feeling a little stuck, like something possibly may be getting in the way. Your goal is the Two of Cups. It is in reverse. It could be that you're trying to turn around a love situation that went south, you know, went bad. The foundation is the Eight of Discs. This is what you're feeling as a foundation. Even though you had that Ten of Pentacles as the beginning energy, as something, it could be something that you were wanting to, uh, financial stability for the rest of your life. But the foundation is you possibly are not getting, feeling like you're getting any new offers that are worthwhile, that are, um, you know, how can I say it? Something that is lucrative, beginning energies, because it's an ace. In the past, you you were able to manifest something. You you got you had the energy of the magician. This is a person that can manifest something that they want to. They have the tools and the knowledge, and the universe opens the door for them to manifest these things. So even though you're feeling stagnant and you're feeling like you're trying to turn around a two of cups situation, it could be love partnerships. It doesn't have to be a, a a a potential love love offer, but it feel, I feel like. You're able to manifest a certain situation, but things are getting stuck and staying a little stagnant for you at first. Let's see what the near future brings. Blessings, fruition, things growing. So even though you're feeling stuck at first, in the near future, it's going to start growing. And the Empress brings blessings as far as I'm concerned. And things pan out. They start happening the way you want want them to. And I'm going to put these four out because this is the distant future and things coming towards you, outside environment, but I want to clarify these first. For Capricorn. Now we got the Knight of Wands, like I said, in the upright, and this could be your energy or it could be somebody else in your life, and they're in the upright and they got a lot of, like I said, passion and vigor for life. They're almost contagious if they're around somebody that's feeling kind of down. Somebody automatically feels better when they're around them. So there's stagnation attached to this. It's like maybe they're trying to help you. Maybe it's another person trying to help you feel unstuck. Or it could be, like I said, you taking on this energy and trying to feel unstuck. The Knight of Wands with the hangman crossing. Why are you there? For Capricorn. Oops, I'm trying to pop out. Moving on from troubled waters, moving on to better things. Some of you may actually move. Some of you may actually move by water, but that's just a few of you. But it is moving on from troubled waters and getting that completion and happiness. That's the why. You're wanting to move on to better things and complete what you want and get what you want. 
Now the goal, you got the two of cups. It is in reverse for uh, Capricorn. Why are you there? Two of cups for Capricorn as the goal. Why are you there? This is the why. Knight of Discs. Something isn't moving as fast as you want. You're trying to turn that around. It's moving kind of slow, almost stuck. But that stagnation there has a lot to do with stagnation, like I said. Queen of Wands. Again, this is a fire type energy. Someone taking on energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They are in the upright. You may be trying to turn it around with this Queen of Wands. Or like I said, you may be taking on this energy and trying to turn your passions around and get back to way, get things on an even keel. In the past, you got the Magician. I should re read this first, but let's, I already called the past out. Magician. Magus. In the upright. Why are you there? It's a good card. Why are you there? For Capricorn. Excellent card, actually. Desires. That desires to manifest what you want. You have that desire to manifest, and it's good. Getting your motivation back up. Can I get another card for Magician? The Magus with the Lust card. Desires. Not wanting to walk away from a certain situation. It could be also you're not wanting to be stuck in a situation anymore. The foundation. You have the ace of disc in reverse. Feeling like no, no, no new offers are coming in. Things that you like. You may be wanting new offers, better things. But at the time being, the foundation is like it's not there. Because you're wanting happiness, you're wanting what you're wanting, you're wanting fulfillment. And it looks like you're going to get some something, but i got to clarify that too. But let me get another card for the Ace of Disc and the Nine of Cups for Capricorn. Oppression. You're feeling oppressed, like I said, stagnant, and you're wanting your happiness. You're feeling like it's a burden that you're not getting things that you're wanting right away even though you have the ability to do so. In the near future, something good's coming your way. The Empress is bringing blessings and fruition and growth. Why are you there, Empress, for Capricorn? Knight of Wands in reverse. Something may be uh, growing fruition-wise. It has to do with the Knight of Wands. Maybe this Knight of Wands was in reverse a little bit, not feeling 100% passionate not getting the things they want, not be able to mo get motivated. But the Empress is coming in, and she may turn this around for you, because this is the why. The Empress, blessings, coming towards you to give you more growth and the ability to grow. Because in the past, you felt with this Knight of Wands here, this is the why, remember, because you felt turned around and didn't have the motivation or energy. Or it could be an actual person that was unmotivated. Another person. Now, possible future outcome or the advice card. Could be advice. Get out, get out of feeling stuck. This is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Break free. Eight of Swords. Why are you there in reverse for Capricorn? It's a good card to be in reverse. That's the one you want in reverse. Eight of Swords. Why are you there? Dissatisfied, a little depressed, not seeing things clearly, coming out of feeling stagnation. That could be the advice. Start to see things clearly because the moon is kind of blocking your vision. And get yourself unstuck. Try to start having your say, but say it right if you're going to say something. If you're going to come out of feeling stagnant, Watch your words and your mood, how you say things, how you come about, how you come across. Not too bad of cards. It's more or less mental anxiety, trying to break free, seeing things clearly, like I said, and be able to have your truth. Get out there and, and do something with your life the way you want to. What is coming towards you, Capricorn? Five of Wands. A little bit of competition out there. You may have to really battle and uh, get what you want in life. It could be that someone wants to battle with you or compete with you. But like I said, you are the magician. You had that in the past. You can do it. And you're getting some kind of blessings and fruition. So, five of wands. Why are you there? Coming towards Capricorn.
Change is coming. Things are different now. They're not like they used to be in the past where you're used to getting the something you want <clears throat> that was like kind of like habit, you know. Things were different back in the day where it wasn't as hard to manifest a certain situation. But remember, if you're going for something, uh, the few, everything has changed now. Things are never the same. And you may have to compete and work in a certain different way to get what you want. You may have to juggle a little bit and work a little bit harder. And I get another card for the Five of Wands and the Two of Pentacles coming towards Capricorn. You just may have to battle a little bit, yeah, to get your fortune. You're going to have to strike, you know, have some strife, have to work for it, have to battle against people around you, competition, to get that, that goal, to get that fortune, to get that good luck. What you're uh, hoping or fearing, uh, a final decision of some sort. Eon, why are you there, Eon? Maybe you're hoping for some things to become final and stable. Eon, why are you there for Capricorn as the outcome? And not the outcome. Hopes and fears. You're afraid of being disappointed? It's a five of cups. You're afraid of disappointment and a final decision. I do not know what the final decision is. You can leave it in the comments. These are your thoughts and fears. Let me get another card for the Eon and the five of cups. <clears throat> Both of them in the upright. I can see why you're afraid of disappointment. You don't like in that. Prince of Wands it has something to do, again, with a fire-type energy or someone taking on an energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're in the upright there. Maybe you're hoping they'll stay in the upright. The outcome, the hermit in reverse. You're getting out in the world. Hermit in reverse. Why are you there? Why are you in reverse for Capricorn? It's a good card to be in reverse. We get some... Let me see why, though. i got to know why first before I can say that for sure. Yeah, coming out of uh, a date... Oh, Coming out of a situation where you're breaking free, breaking ties, breaking things that are that that kept you bound. I'm feeling that you're breaking th free from things that kept you bound before that stagnated you in your life. You are going to have to work for it because it's coming towards you. Change is coming towards you, and so is finances. Remember, we had that Ten of Pentacles. Blessings are coming your way. I need another card for that, but I want to get to the uh, the outcome. The Hermit, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why are you the outcome? It's a good outcome. It's a breaking free, no longer stagnant. Because you you were really, it was really mentally bothering you. That's the why. Hermit card. Coming out of Hermit because you're tired of the cruelty of thinking to yourself, thinking of negative thoughts. You're going to break free. Let me get another card for the near future. I want to find out. I should have done that earlier. Sorry. But the Empress and the Knight of Wands, why are you there in the near future? I need another card. She's bringing blessings to Hermit because she's bringing blessings because someone's feeling turned around and not, not motivated. They hadn't been in the past. They were, they were feeling a little unmotivated. You did get that somewhat, that stagnation. And they were becoming the hermit. In the end, you come out of hermit mode. You come out of hermit mode. But in the near future, blessings are going to come to you that helps you to start coming out of it because it's saying this is the why. Blessings are coming towards you. A fruition, growth. Why? Because the Knight of Wands is feeling turned around and the Hermit was attached. The Hermit is feeling uh, stagnant or, or thinking too much. So I think you've got an outside blessing coming towards you. Like I said, you're going to have to fight for it. Change is coming. Good fortune. You had that Ten of Pentacles to begin with. And as the ending energy, you have the Knight of Cups. A possible, possible, possible good offer. A pleasant offer, an offer of love, an offer of friendship, something you love. Or it could be someone taking on a water sign energy, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But a lot of times this is someone giving you an offer. Can you see it? They're offering you the cup of something you like. 
So congratulations, Capricorn. You're coming out of being the hermit, and that's a good card. I'm sorry you were feeling stagnant in the past, but you have a good outcome. And remember to look for those good things and realize you have to work what, you, what is coming towards you because the magician is able to do so, and you're coming out of hermit mode. And that is your reading. I will be back again in a couple weeks to give you another reading for mid-November. Bye.